The Polk Salad Festival continues today down in Harlan. WYMT's Caleb No was there yesterday and went back today. He's live at the festival where it's a big day for music and food. Caleb? That's right, Haley. Music and food, two of my favorite things. And one thing this festival never disappoints on is the Saturday night concert. They're known for getting big names on that. Tonight's concert will not disappoint in that category. We'll talk a little bit about that later. But first, the big question for many, what is poke salad? Yes, it's a festival, but it's also a type of food that dates back centuries. Now, I went and checked out the poke salad to see what it's all about. And there's one thing that makes it pretty interesting, maybe even a little scary. So if you like to maybe live on the edge, come check out poke salad and see what that is all about. What would any good festival be without a little rain? But there is one unique thing that distinguishes poke salad from any other rainy festival. Or you could say poke salad is that unique thing. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, it'd probably be an 11. I mean, it's really good. A wild plant, boiled and eaten, dating back centuries to the pioneers of the area. The folklore says that it removes the sluggishness from winter from the body. The catch, however, it's poisonous. Uh, we've ate it all these years and we're still here, so. Now the key is boiling it multiple times before frying it. After I get the bacon grease kind of hot, I go ahead and put my poke in that I've already drained. This is the way it looks when you're first getting it in there. And add an extra little touch to it, sometimes onions, peppers, or vinegar, in this case, eggs. For about a gallon of poke, I put in about 18 eggs. Stir it up, throw in some potatoes, and you have a traditional poke salad meal. Mix in some rides, music, and fried everything, and you have the 61st annual poke salad festival. Now, I already know your first question, and it's, have I actually tried poke salad? The answer is no, but I have made a promise that I'll try it at some point. That was a handshake promise and everything, so I guess we'll see what happens. As far as tonight is concerned, I told you about the Saturday night concert. We all know Jordan Smith, who's right here from Harlan, won The Voice back in December. Now, Jordan is on tour right now. He actually has a schedule, uh, a concert scheduled for today down in Houston, so he will not be here. But the runner-up on that show, Emily Ann Roberts, is scheduled to perform on the stage right back here tonight at 9 o'clock. That should certainly be exciting, and I'm sure it will be a packed house tonight. So if you want to come, make sure you show up early. For now, live in Harlan at the Polk Salad Festival, Caleb No, WYMT Mountain News. Caleb, thank you very much. I've actually never tried poke salad either, but I guess I still have some time to get down there and try it out.